Hi everybody, welcome to Secondhand Farms. It's Allison here. Um, I'm going to be making these chocolate chip cookies. I found them about a month ago, this recipe for it. It's on New York Times cooking, and they are absolutely my most favorite recipe for cookies, chocolate chip cookies. They are so good. If you like chewy cookies, they're good. And if you like crispy cookies, they're a little crispy. I don't like crispy cookies, but Cody loves crisp cookies. <laughs> Anyways, Cody likes crispy cookies, so it's kind of like the perfect combination for to like in between each one. So, if I can find where I put my butter, dang it, there it is. It calls for two and two and a half sticks or one and one fourth cups of butter. So this is softened. Butter. It's been at room temperature. Don't mind my toddler. She's cranky. I'm sad. I know you're sad. Yeah, she stole a whole bunch of sugar from my pot, my uh, container. I didn't realize she was stealing sugar, and then I seen her run off with a handful of sugar spilling all over the place. So, there's that. Okay. <laughs> So that's one and a half sticks of the butter. And then it says two large eggs, but I only have two medium eggs and then like one tiny egg. So we'll see how that works today. So I'm not using like the exact recipe from them because they have like bread flour and stuff like that. And I don't ever have bread flour, so because I uh, think it's expensive, and you can it's fine using just all-purpose flour. And then the, my tiny, tiny cuckoo marin egg. I hope their eggs get bigger than that, but they're cute. All right, so I'm gonna put one and four of a cup of brown sugar in the recipe. Their recipe it called for like um, light brown sugar, but I'm using dark brown. I prefer dark brown. To me, it, it's a uh, more caramely flavor. And then one cup regular sugar and two tablespoons.
And then you're going to whip it for five minutes. Okay, so it has stirred for about, for five minutes now, so poke it down, kind of get the sides pushed down. So, um, I forgot to put it at the vanilla. This is my homemade vanilla. My first time making it. It's not very old, so it's not quite dark yet. And I think it needs a little bit more vanilla beans. I need, so, no, I'm not, I'm not putting vodka in there. It's vanilla. <laughs> so, it calls for two teaspoons. I usually put a little more because I really like vanilla, but you do you. All right, so I'm going to mix that and then I'm going to uh, get my, uh, my flour ready. So the only reason why I even said I'm not putting vodka in there is because I have a sister that would see that bottle and think I'm putting vodka in my... Uh, my chocolate chip cookie recipe and if my sister's watching you know who you are you know which one i'm talking about we all know that's one cup right, two cup so you're supposed to sift it together i never do it and it turns out fine so, sift so like the baking soda and baking powder and the salt. So since I used um, salted butter, I won't use very much salt in my recipe. One teaspoon and a fourth of baking, one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. That's one and a half. And baking soda is one and a fourth. <clears throat> and it calls for one and a half teaspoons of coarse salt, but I use salted butter. I like how it tastes better. So I'm just going to use like half a teaspoon of salt. A little bit in that. Good. Oops. Just stir. Scrape my sides down. This is the third cup. And then two thirds. One third, two third. Ah. All right, and then I just gotta add my chocolate chips. So one day I bought some chocolate chips, and there were the morsels, and I didn't realize it. I usually don't buy more. I never bought morsels before. I usually just buy the regular ones. But the morsels, I actually 
like better. They, they're not like an overly um, big bite of chocolate. To me, they just taste a lot better in the chocolate chip cookies. Um, and it doesn't have to be Nestle. I do recommend getting a good quality chocolate chip though, because it actually does, brand does uh, matter. Because like the cheaper versions and stuff, they're just not as good. The, the chocolate just doesn't taste good. So if you have like Nestle Spine or the, the Ghirardelli, I don't know how to pronounce it, but they're really good. Alright, so while the oven preheats, I'm going to throw this in the refrigerator and uh, you can let it cool completely. I haven't, but you can. And then you cook it. I use a, um, like an, a little ice cream scoop in a 350 degree oven. I use the ice cream scoop and you cook it for about 18 minutes. Okay, it's chilled a little. Mm. The oven is now 350. So I just take a little ice cream scoop, put it there, put it in that corner. I think I get six on a tr cookie sheet. They spread out quite a bit. So. <laughs> then that's all I do. I stick it in the oven and put it in for 18 to 20 minutes until done. And I'll be back when they're done cooking. So, my cookies just got out of the oven. They're kind of puffy right now, but if you leave them alone and let them, um, and they look a little underdone, they might look underdone, but you let them cool um, on a rack. I just, I use this parchment paper and I pick it up and put it on my wire rack and let them cool completely before you mess with them and they'll get, um, they'll flatten out. Okay, cool. We'll flatten out and uh, be awesome and delicious. So, an all in made about 30 cookies. It probably would have made more, but some people were uh, eating all the cookies. So, and you can cook them a little longer. Mine are kind of soft. They are definitely my favorite chocolate chip cookies. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you on the next one.